Welcome, my name is Dylan Young and I am a four-time Sitecore Technology MVP and today we will be looking at how to install Headless that's used for JSS or .NET Core in a Sitecore 10.1 instance. Uh, this is a fairly simple course um, and I've done videos on Horizon already in the past and I will be doing more videos on other installations that you can make with Sitecore with Docker. Uh, so let's go ahead and get uh, jump in and get started. So we will start with our Visual Studio Code. And so where we left off last time is we had Horizon installed. And we also did that custom Sitecron module installation as well. So we're, what we're going to do now is install JSS or Headless Services. So it's a relatively simple process to do that. Um, we just need to make customizations to our CM instance and our, our CM uh, image and our MS SQL image. So we'll start with MS SQL first. Uh, we're gonna start from the Docker Compose side of things first, and then we'll work into our uh, Docker file for building the image itself. So we need to pass in a JSS image, or it could be a headless image, however, however uh, that parameter you would like to pass in. Uh, we'll just call this headless image and I'll paste that in. Um, I could make this parameterized if I wanted to actually, let's just do that actually now that I think about it because we have this variable above, we can just reuse that. It's like core docker modules registry. And so then we'll just copy this because we're going to need that same reference in our uh, CM environment or image. So I will just do that as well. Headless image. And just paste it. So that's all we need to do there. Um, and then we can go back into um, our builds here, um, not our data. In our builds here, there is one for CM. So we open up that file. And now we specify kind of two things. We have the args that we have to specify. So we'll call this headless image. And then here we will then say from headless image as headless. And then what we need to do here is we need to copy in basically the files that are related to the CM environment. So not database changes, but files for JSS headless services. So um, what we can do is we can just put this here. I just copying and pasting it in because it's an easier way to do it, but I'll call this headless module. And then we just are using the as headless or from headless uh, image here. And then we're just passing in and doing some configuration. These are all, um, all this documentation is provided by Sitecore. There's a page where you can access this and see what you need to do to pass in on the CM, what changes you need to make and what you need to pass in essentially. And then lastly, uh, we need to make some changes to our MS SQL. And I should go back here and save this real quick. And now same changes, uh, arg headless image. And then also here, as headless. And so for this, it's actually relatively the same as all these ones we have already defined down here. And we'll just inject it here. No specific order, which order you need to put these in. I didn't mean to click that. Um, so it could be first, it could be third, it could be, you know, you could have tons of definitions in here. Um, so it doesn't have to be a specific order. And then it just all the, really the only difference between all of these is that they just have, they're from a different image. And then you just, you're pulling from the same path. Actually, we don't need to specify C drive. It doesn't matter because uh, the path we're currently in is the C drive, the root path. 
And so I think that's it. Um, so we want to make sure that we do a new build. Um, and what I'm gonna do is actually uh, do a build and I'm gonna specify a parameter called no cache. I don't want it to cache any of the images. I want to make kind of force it to rebuild. All right, the Docker build is complete. Um, so one other step before we uh, try to Docker compose up this environment is a step that I always forget about. Um, you need to make sure you clean the data. And what I mean by that is you need to actually remove the your databases that you already have running or already have spun up. You need to make sure your solar instances are also removed, although that's less important. Um, it's really about the MS SQL, making sure your database has been removed. And then when we do the Docker Compose up again, it's gonna recreate it, but this time it's gonna recreate it with our headless database changes, which otherwise would not run. So if you wonder why your Docker, your uh, headless services uh, items do not exist, this will be why. Um, so just make sure you do that. And then lastly, we'll do a Docker Compose up. All right, as you can see now, the all the images are now spun up. So let's take a look at our Sitecore instance. All right, it's coming up. Uh, it's taking us over to Identity Server. Log in with admin B. And now there we are, we have the environment spun up. So let's just confirm that we were able to install JSS or the headless services correctly. So let's go over and click on Content Editor. All right, uh, we have the content editor open. So let's take a look at templates real quick. And we're also gonna look at the system. So within system, we're gonna look at settings and then services, and as well as we are going to take a look at modules. So as you can see, JavaScript services is here. The layout service is also there. We still have Sitecron because that's uh, we still had that uh, set up from our last videos or last string of videos in the series. And basically we are successfully, have successfully set up headless services. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe or like the video if you find it useful. Subscribe definitely if you want to see more uh, videos on Docker or uh, more videos I have coming up on JSS. Thank you and see you again next time. Thank you.